Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of your Daily Five. I'm Leslie Jufless, and Trading Live Online is my website, and I'd like to thank Stock Charts for inviting me back. These are really fun segments to do. We've got 10 minutes to present five charts. So today, um, I'm going to be going over some index and spider signals that I'm seeing in the airlines, utilities, financials, banks, and retailers. I did, um, just not too long ago, I did um, a segment for your daily five on January 19th, and I gave analysis for the, the main indexes, the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ. So you can refer back to that and see how these spiders and other indexes fit into that. So today, we're going to start with, first of all, let me tell you how to find these on stock charts. For um, these types of indexes and spiders, you just go to the sector summary. And like for the airline uh, index that I have here, you then go to industrial sector, then you choose airlines, and that's going to pull up a whole list of airline stocks. So I thought it'd be better to give a little bit broader view, and then you can go in and find individual stocks um, or the ETFs that correspond to these. So today on the airline index, what I have marked up here in these blue lines here, this is called a Gartley cell pattern. This is a classic retracement pattern. We had a high up here and then a move to the downside and then an A, B, C, D correction um, move. So there's a few things here that say that the airline index may be coming lower, maybe down to some of these Fibonacci retracement levels. I've marked in a couple of trend lines here. This green one here, the market's already come down below that. And then the next uh, one that's holding currently as support is this pink dashed line. And coming below that, closing below that, closing below these lows. And I think we're probably going to see some tests back down into at least the 0.50 or the 0.618. You can see that there are some gap areas here that the market can test. And of course, whenever we get some nice pullbacks in the market, those can present good buying app opportunities for us. So the um, some of the indicators here, the RSI down below, you can see that this also declined with the price. Now it's just sitting on this support area here. So a break of this little trend line and a break of this first um, 0.382 retracement level and the RSI turning down would be a signal that the market is most likely to be coming lower testing down into these areas. You can see here that the MACD on the bottom made lows. You know, if we look back here, lower than this low, lower than this low, and even lower, a little bit lower than these lows back here in July. So it's just had a bit of a correction to the upside and now turning back down. So those are the areas to watch. Now our next chart is the um, bank index. And here we've had a gap down. This high, um, the gap is 108.92 and then 108.75. It's a small gap, only 17 cents. But in Japanese candlestick theory, this still counts. It doesn't matter the size of the window, which is what a gap area is referred to. And the, um, the gap up from the September lows right over here. This also, that was a small gap there as well. And you can see the, the reaction from that gap to the upside. So here the pink arrow is showing where the, this last you know, larger gap to the upside is and the price just tested back into that. And again, in Japanese um, candlestick theory, the entire gap the entire gap, which is called a window, is either support or resistance. So this entire gap here, even see this came down into it, is support. This down here is where the gap would close. Now, when you 
when it breaks the support of a close like that, that's generally a negative sign. And again, with this index, we can see that the MACD down here has made lows below the previous lows. And the RSI has already broken some support here. It's not completely negative yet. So we might see maybe a little bit of a retracement up, maybe something similar to the ABCD Gartley cell that I just showed you on the um, airline chart. So our next chart is the um, spider for financials. And it's very similar to the banks that we just looked at, except there's more gaps in this one. So that pink arrow that you're seeing at the highs is a gap down and that's followed by a consolidation and then more down and more gaps. And so it's down to that gap area where the um, this bluish line is. You can see the highs right here, you know, right now holding a support, the gap closed just a little bit below that. And so again, we can also watch this for a potential, you know, A, B, C, D type sell pattern right up here. This is the resistance to watch uh, currently on uh, this spider. Now, if we come down below this support and close below this gap area, then we've got these Fibonacci retracements from the November lows is what I'm using on this. And these would be good areas um, to watch for, you know, possibly a potential buy pattern coming down. There's where this green line is. There was a previous um, upside breakout from this area. This would probably be good support. And it's close to right around the um, 618 Fibonacci retracement. Now, the RSI, again, similar to what we just looked at with the banks, <clears throat> turning down, but not completely bearish yet. And the MACD just, you know, making some new lows here and the on balance volume also turning a bit to the downside. Now, here we go. Um, who could ask for more excitement, right, than on the upside, um, utilities. <laughs> Nothing could be more exciting than that. So there's a kind of a rounding bottom, kind of cup and handle type of formation here. The RSI is positive. You can see where these lows were made. Um, the RSI was climbing to the upside. There might be some resistance coming in right around these levels where this blue dashed line is. Um, here, the um, price has gotten above this resistance area, but still some resistance to go up around these, uh, these areas. You see this candle here, this is a shooting star, and you can see there were closes below that. So that um, most likely will be um, a bit of a resistance area as well for the, the market to test. Um, but this looks like a positive type of consolidation. Um, the MACD is positive. You can see the MACD was rising here. So maybe after some testing here, we'd expect some, some more um, up movement in the utilities. Now, the last chart that we're going to look at today, these are the, um, the, the spider of the retail. And the left chart is a daily chart, and the right is a five minute chart. So I wanted to show these as a comparison so that this candle here, um, notice I just pointed out the shooting star on the last chart and the closes below that. So this is a long-legged doji. We do not have a close below this yet. And that is what would activate it, just like what we saw on the previous chart. Um, but we may get some testing, you know, back up. This is a bearish uh, candle and reversal type of a candle signal in Japanese candles with this particular type of long-legged doji. Um, they say that this, the market has lost its sense of direction when you see this appear uh, in an uptrend. So the bulls were able to you know, push it much higher and then the bears push it down where the open and close are virtually in the same area. So we've got some negative divergences and look at the very high volume on that candle. There's some negative divergences on the RSI. 
and the MACD, the unbalanced volume on the, <clears throat> excuse me, daily chart has not turned down yet. But let's take a look over here on the five minute chart and we can see what was happening inside of this bar. And you can see the dramatic move to the downside, found a bit of support where, you know, the top of this window was consolidation and then holding support right here at this gap close. So this is the important um, price area for the market to hold. And that's below this area is going to be a close below that long legged doji. And that would be activating that candle signal. And you can see here the on balance volume on the five minute was um, also moving down. So that's it for the you know retail, the holidays are over. So this sort of makes sense with the retail sector right now. But again, you know, some of these moves to the downside can give us some really good buying opportunities. So um, the last thing is very quickly, if you'd like to visit my website, I have this special for stock charts for um, this pattern recognition video series and just use this link right here and that will give you the special price. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you again soon on another Daily Five. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below. Maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're going to bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.